Hello everyone, this is Leo from Generates Press and Generates Blocks. In this video, I will be showing you how to replicate the custom footer from the stream template in GP site library. We will be using the block element module with Generates Blocks. Let's go to Appearance, Generates Press, and make sure we have the Elements module activated. Then we add a new element, select Block, and Create. We will give it a name, and under Block Type, we will select Site Footer which means that this element we're about to create will replace the default theme footer from GP. For location, we will select entire site. Now we're ready to add our first container block. We will keep the outer container as full width, inner container as contained, and increase the container width to 1240 pixel. Next, we will add a background image. Image size will be full. Selector, we will use pseudo element so we can apply a background overlay. Change the opacity to 0 0.1. Size cover. Position, we will go with right center. No repeat and attachment scroll. All looks good. Next, let's change the background color. Then we'll go to spacing, change the top and bottom padding to 120 pixel, and left right padding to 20 pixel. We will also add a hundred pixel of top margin. This is to give some space between the end of the content and the custom footer itself. Now let's go ahead and add our first grid block inside the container. I will choose three grids to start with even though we are going to need four, but these two are the same, so it's easier once we create one, we can just duplicate for the other. You will see. We will select the first container and set it to 45%. We will select the second container, set it to 20%. Then we will select the third container and set it to 15%. Let's go to the first container block and add an image block inside. Select the logo from our media library and set the width to 140 pixel. Go back to the container setting and make sure our padding is all at zeros. Let's go to the second container and add a headline block. We will use a paragraph here.
go to the topography panel, increase the font weight to 700, font size 15. Go to spacing, we will use inline width. Margin bottom, 22 and a half is fine. And a little bit of border bottom. Let's go to colors. Text color will be white. Link color, we don't really need to set it here. Border color, we'll go with white and reduce the opacity to 0 0.4. Let's add a second headline block. Again, we will use a paragraph. Start with the topography tab again. Reduce the font size to 14. Go to spacing. Margin bottom, we will use 10 pixel. Colors, we will use white again. And link color, this will usually be a link, but I'm not going to do it here. Once we're happy with the appearance, we can now duplicate it. Next, as I mentioned before, these two are basically the same. So we can go back select the container that holds all the headlines and duplicate it. Move it up and now we have the two menus that are shown here. Now let's go to the last container block in this section and add in a buttons block. We will head to icon first, select the Twitter icon, we will remove the text and set the icon size to 0 0.8 EM. Go to spacing, remove the padding, margin right, we will give it 30 pixel. We will go to colors and clear our background color so it's transparent. Text color white is good. Once we're happy, again, we can use the duplicate option. Now for the last icon, we don't need the margin right. So let's set that to zero. Now they're all in one line. Next, we will select the grid wrapper and set the vertical alignment to center. Next, we can build the bottom section of our footer. We will add another container block. 
Again, full width for outer, contain for inner, 1240. For the container width, let's go to spacing, padding top, we will go with 60 pixel and set the rest to zero. Margin top, we will add 20 pixel. And border top, we will go one pixel. Let's go to colors and set the border color to white and change the opacity to 0 0.4. Inside the container, we will add a grid wrapper. Again, for this, I will start with 100%. Select the container and set it to 50%. Then we will add the headline block. A paragraph again and add in our content. Go to topography. We will use font size 14 pixel. We can set the color to white. Now I will quickly mention that we can help in our support forum to write a short code for the current year so you don't have to update this number every year. Once you're happy with the appearance, let's go to the block navigation, select the container which holds the headline block and duplicate it. Replace the content, set text align right, and now we've completed the custom footer. Let's take a quick look of the mobile view. If you have many items that are narrow like this, you can consider putting them side by side. So we will select the container, and set it to 50%. Select the next container and set it to 50%. Next, we want to add some margin top to the social icon container. Let's go with 50 pixel. And then we can select the buttons container and center align it on mobile. Lastly, let's make this headline block align to the left. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.